Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. It is fantastic to have you here once again. In this video, I will show you how to disassemble a hard disk to recover these powerful neodymium magnets and some aluminum for the foundry. The neodymium magnets are the most powerful magnets you can find commercially. You can use them or sell them on eBay easily. They are dangerous due to the attraction force they have. If you don't pay close attention, it is easy to get pinched. They are not a toy and not recommended for children. As you can see, I have to use a little pry bar to detach them from each other. You can use them in many different ways. To hang your tools on the wall in the shop, your knives in the kitchen, you can use one attached to a screwdriver to make it magnetic, or place them under the horn of your anvil to silence it, hang a photo or the shopping list on the fridge door, demagnetize your old credit card, keep a cabinet door closed, make a compass, avoid your wise soft jaws fall all the time, hang a spotlight where you need it, and so on. And these super magnets are here, inside these broken hard disks. You will find the biggest magnets in the oldest hard disk. And usually the oldest hard disks are the ones with less memory. So read the label and remember, little memory, big magnets. Please consider that if you open an hard disk, the warranty will no longer be valid. And the data contained in it will be definitely compromised. Now that you've been warned, let's open it. Broken hard disk can be found easily for little money. First thing to do is to remove all the labels, even the smallest. Usually there are six or seven screws on the perimeter of the hard disk and one or more hidden under these labels. A Torx screwdriver of the proper size, usually 8 or 7, is the best way to open the hard drive. But if you don't have it, you can drill the screws heads. Remove them all and we will open easily or with little effort. Again, a flat screwdriver or a small pry bar can be very handy. Inside the hard disk you will identify the magnets at first place. To get them you may find a couple of other screws. Unscrew them all. Also the 6 on the disc cab, if possible. For this disc, the screws are smaller than the others and I don't have the proper bit. So I will drill the screws later on. Use the flat screwdriver or the pry bar to get the upper magnet. To 
get the lower one you need to unscrew or pry out the reading writing head that is made of aluminum and has a small ball bearing if you want to recover it. I usually keep the bagnets on their brackets as they have some holes very handy to screw them on the wall of the shop or in a wooden cabinet door. On the other hand, if you plan to use them on a steel surface like a fridge door, you can remove them from their brackets and I will show you how to do it in another video as they are epoxied to the brackets and it's quite easy to broke them. To recycle the good aluminum of the case that is quite thick and heavy, remove also the electronic board with printed circuits and you can put it in your crucible. Inside, near the disc, you will find also one or two anti-wet pad to be removed. Let's repeat the drill with another hard disk. In this hard drive, the screws on the disk's hub are the same as the others, so I can unscrew them and dismantle the four disks that are perfect mirrors. They can be used to keep pigeons away from your balcony, hanging them with a twine, or to make wind chimes. They are beautiful and have a crystal sound. Here it is the second magnet, epoxied to its bracket. To take apart the other mirror discs, I unscrew the remaining four screws with a pair of pliers as I don't have the right screwdriver.
The disc's separators are made of aluminum and can be melted with the case. Then I remove the circuit board. the anti-wet pads. And with the punch and the hammer, I remove the discs hub to get some good aluminum, ready to be melted and casted in something useful, like a slingshot. In the end, the things I recover from each hard drive are two powerful neodymium magnets, some aluminum for my foundry, some mirror discs and a couple of anti-wet pads. That's all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, give a thumbs up and as always, thank you for watching.